What is inside of a vacuum? Ew, bro, what is that? Was good. So I bought the world's longest camera lens. And I bought this camera lens because I've seen a bunch of other YouTubers use it. And to be honest, a lot of camera shots you just can't get with another lens because this one gets so close to shit. But I bought it for a different reason. I just want to put it in some shit. I know that definitely sounded zoo. By the time this video is done, you guys will know what I mean. Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy Wolfie, aka Charles. And yo, you guys already know the vibes. Go down to the like button right now. You see it right there. Give it a, give it a nice little kiss that bitch. Pet it a bit, pet it a bit. Throw it out, bring it back, boom. Smash the like button. And enjoy Wolfie, this is like Wolfie cinemato cinematography, well, camera, cinematography Wolfie, fuck it. So I'm using Sylvia's camera and the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys what this lens can do is go through some typical ass paper towel. I know this camera angle is just typical shits vlog shit. It sounds boring, but when you see what the shots look like, I promise you guys will not be disappointed. And no, this is not a brand deal. I just literally needed to test this fucking lens out. In order to use this lens full capacity though, you have to plug it into a USB because this is completely in charge of this light. As you guys can see, the the light on the end is now getting darker, but if I press it up, it's getting brighter. And I even have an extra light on top of the camera because if you don't have enough light, the lens just won't work. So watch what it can do. I just set up the lighting to be perfect. The focus is good. Time to figure out what is inside of a paper towel roll. I've always wanted to know. I mean, I never really wanted to know, but yesterday when the lens came to my house, I definitely wanted to know. <laughs> I also have this little slider it's on. So all we're gonna do is push the camera forward like this. And as you guys can see, the shot's already there, but this is going to roll and this is gonna go right in here. And uh, that's where the magic happens. So let's push it forward. Here we go. All right, three, two, one, here we go. Push it in. Oh my, yo, 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 oh shit. No, no, damn it, I fucking knocked it off. Oh God. Here we go, three, two, one, push that in. And, oh, bro, this looks straight out of a movie. Like what? Guys, look at how smooth it just glid in there. Are you crazy? I did not know the inside of a paper towel roll looked like that. I mean, look what you get from this camera angle. Can you, like, what is this, bro? We need that HD shit. Dog. I don't know why I'm getting so excited over a friggin' camera lens, but let's see what is inside something else. The next item we're gonna look inside is an orange juice bottle, pretty much a finished one. I know it looks boring as hell, but wait till we get close up. I just lined it up, took forever to just line it up perfectly. Like three, two, one, go. Come on. Oh my God, oh my fucking God. Look at this, look at this, I let it go solo. Oh. Oh my God. And look, now we're inside of the orange juice bottle. I'm gonna change the lighting on the end of it so we can see a little bit better. You can see the text on the orange juice bottle. Look at this shit, bro. Oh my fucking God. Okay, it's a little dark. We have to brighten it up, change the focus. Like, yay! This is the coolest shit in the world. I don't know why this lens is so fun, but it's mad addicting, especially with like how smooth it just rolls on this. It's like, oh that. So that's uh, the inside of an orange juice bottle. I'm gonna clean that. Thank God the lens is waterproof because <laughs> half the shit we're going inside is liquid. So I'm not trying to ruin the lens in the first video. By the way guys, comment below what else you'd wanna see. If I don't get it done in today's video, obviously I'm down to make a part two or whatever. How I should use this lens because you can do so much with it. So what would you guys wanna see? But I think we're gonna do this wine bottle next. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it work because the lens is pretty much the same size as the bottle cap. So this is gonna be a tight squeeze. Can we make it work? All right, scratch that guys. I don't think we're gonna be able to go inside of the wine bottle because as you guys can see, or here at least. Boom, boom, boom. It literally, I thought it would fit, but then I forgot there's like these little ridges, as you guys can see inside of the wine bottle. So they're literally preventing it from going in. Look at how many spirals are inside. I've literally never seen a wine bottle this close up in this high definition. This is, look at that. Wine bottle, but if you wanna get really focused in, you have to go and you have to turn down the lighting so it doesn't reflect off the glass and then focus it up like this. And as soon as you get to that point, it doesn't go in any further, unfortunately, but you can see the wine in the back of the bottle. That looks, it's just so weird to see shit like this. Pretty cool though. All right, the wine bottle didn't work, but I know something that will. A pizza box. Shout out Daniel Schiffer. I seen him do it on his channel. Literally like, I never thought putting a camera inside of a pizza box would look so dope. And now that I think about it, I swear to God, every single movie I've watched in my life has to at least have used this lens once. Cause I've always wondered how they got those shots. And like, now I fucking know. We had pizza from like a day ago. There's a slice of pizza in there. You can't really see it on this camera, but you're gonna be able to see it on this camera. I had to set it up on something just so I could like smoothly glide inside of it. This is all I'm doing guys, watch this. This is the inside of a pizza box. Push it forward and go right in the corner. Okay, holy shit. Hold on, I don't get to appreciate it as much as you guys. I'm seeing it like in person, but you guys get to see a big screen. Watch this shit, push it in. Oh my God. Watch how fast I could glide out. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. Oh fuck, I almost knocked the pizza box open. Let me see if I can like add some light inside of there and make it look even better. All right, one more pizza box shot. You want pizza? Here. Oh. God damn it! 
<laughs> this is hard to do alone. You don't get another pizza shot. Have you guys ever been sitting at home and just thinking to yourself, you know, what it would be like to just gallop through the grass like a fucking angry lion hunting a gazelle? No, that's crazy. I definitely haven't either, but I know there is that one or two people that have thought about it. So for the one or two of you, shout out you guys, I got some fake grass. Rumor has it, this is how they got like half the shots in the Lion King. So like, this is like Lion King life hacks and exposed the, the truth. 100% legitimate facts by Wolfie. So I think I have everything lined up. Let me hold the grass to make sure it doesn't move. This is an ant's POV when it runs through the grass. Here we go. Hey. Holy shit, that's so fire. When it comes out too, are you crazy? By itself. Galloping through the fucking wild safari. Not in my kitchen. <laughs> but if I change the lighting up, what it does is like, the light just reflects off the friggin' grass blade. So like, it looks a little weird, but from further it looks cool. So let me bring this all the way back. Put it in focus real quick. Three, two, one, yay! You can't tell me that shit doesn't look bomb. Boom, take it out. I think coming out of the grass might even look cooler than going into the grass. This is what the camera looks like as it happens. Boom. <laughs> Which looks so funny versus what it looks like on the camera Pretty crazy ah interesting knowledge a book have you ever thought about going inside a book though? Literally, I went to the store, picked up any book. I needed a thick book, because you guys know I don't like it unless it's thick with two C's. So we got the book, I'm gonna put it right here, and you can actually do a bunch of cool shit from videos I've seen. The first thing you can do is the most boring angle, but it's still dope. You have to readjust the lighting and focus for like literally every shot, but as long as the words are in focus, it should be good. POV, you're the words in the book. You're the letters in the page, specific page number. You are the book. <laughs> yeah, you are the book. POV. <laughs> POV, your uh, page number 192 in uh, Michael McCauley, uh, some book, I, I don't know. Yeah. Bro, I wish I could go longer. I know it looks cooler in slow-mo, but I wish the book was just endless, but this is what the book looks like. Oh my God. This is how they made like Harry Potter movies. But what I really wanted to show you guys is that you can actually get a cooler angle of the book if I hold it like this, right? And I focus it correctly. Don't mind my finger. Yeah, okay, that did not look as cool as I thought. We're gonna have to do the cool shot that they did. I thought I could make up my own shot. If we have the book sideways like this, let me angle this down. Now I got it set up and guys, watch this. This is POV, you're inside the book. Here, oh my God. And then you come out the other side. Hold on, let me even move this shit closer so I can fully come out the other side. Yay! <laughs> I don't know why I literally just figured out about this lens like you can do so much with it Just to show you guys how close up this camera can actually get here's my hand Okay, focus on this hand on this camera. How close can you get to my hand before it goes out of focus? Let's see. Is it still in focus? No, it's out of focus. It's taking a while. Holy shit. There we go now it's in Okay, so it's in focus. This is almost my everyday vlogging camera I have this one just in case I want to do like zoom ins or whatever However, you can only get a certain distance now if we look at this camera I set the lighting up look at how close the lens is to my finger look at how close my hand is it's still in focus. You can see that I bite my nails. I'm kind of stressed. You can see like the dents in my fingers, bro. This is stupid close. You can see the tip of a pen. My guy, you can see the tip of a pen. You can see the ink of the pen. A cool thing to do with this lens is like following me if I, let's say I like draw these squiggly lines. Watch and learn. <laughs> this looks so dope on this camera for no reason. Watch this. I'm going to follow my hand and draw POV. Actually, Sylvia, can you draw squiggly lines, please? Yeah. I can't do two at once. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I, I don't know what to say. This is wavy. This is just cool. So now we're moving on to the big boy toys. As you guys can see, everyone has one of these. Now one question I've had since I was a kid, what is inside of a vacuum? I know it's really dusty right here on the bottom. This has a lot of like hairs and whatever. And I know this part's disgusting, but if we pop off this end, this seems like the perfect space for the probe lens. So as you guys can see, I have my Dyson vacuum over here. I got my probe lens camera over here. Unfortunately, this light kind of died, but it's all good because we don't really need this light because we're going inside the vacuum, but we can only go in this deep. If you were to close your eyes, this video sounds hella dirty. I wish we could go in deeper, <laughs> going in deep. But this freaking LED light that has to be plugged in just to function won't work if we go past this point, which is mad annoying. However, time to answer your question. What is inside of a vacuum? I don't know. You guys don't know. The people that do know, you're freaking weird. Is there like some crazy fans inside of this tube that we don't know about that make this vacuum super deezed? I don't know. Is there like blades that chop up stuff in this vacuum that make it work better? Perhaps, maybe there is. Today, we are going to find that out. So here's what the camera looks like set up. I think we're ready. Three, two, one, go. Yay. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Ew, bro, what is that? I'm focusing it right now so you can see like, look at all of the dust inside of this tube all the way to the very end. That's dirty. But from what we can see, this is like some microscope shit. Let's darken it. There's lots of dust in there, but I don't see anything unusual except for the thing in the end. I don't know what that metal tube is. Is that like a special piece of the vacuum? I don't know, but look at this. We come out, we went pretty deep in that vacuum. <laughs> Pause and go back in. Oh, oh my god, what is that hair at the end, bro? That's disgusting! Ew, bro! Go all the way in. Oh my god. There's little, like, spirals inside of the tube that you can't see from the outside. I'm not even gonna lie, that's pretty fucking creepy. But, like, you can go in even further because you can take this piece out and take this piece off. We need a closer look. Oh, shit. This looks fire. This camera angle POV looks so dumb fire. Look at this. You go inside. Yay. Yo, Dyson, if you need me to make your commercials, just let me know. You can find my email below or whatever. Just, you know, follow me on Instagram, all that stuff. Follow me on TikTok. Your boys just got the name Wolfie on TikTok. So if you need to reach out to me there, that's where you can find me. I will shoot your next commercial. No worries. I'll do it for free. No, no, you definitely got to pay. Look at inside of the vacuum, guys. Oh my god! Ew! That's fucking nasty. Can we get down that corner? Oh, we can't. We can't. We, we might be able to. <laughs> I feel like I'm a surgeon right now. This is nasty! I think that's the limit of how far we can get because it's angled. This is inside of a vacuum, guys. Mad dust clogged up at the top. Ew! We don't even have a cat and Prince doesn't shed. Who is this hair coming from? You. No. <laughs> my hair is... Oh my god. You can see all the hair fucking flying in the air. The inside of a vacuum. Okay. 2020 has got me that bored. Next thing. The last item we are going to look inside is a Tostitos chip bag. I have a regular chip bag here. I literally bought it for this video. Keto Wolfie is semi-strong still. Don't doubt that. I think I'm just going to go all out for this one though. I'm just diving into the chip bag. Like, here we go. Yay! I'll take one of those. So, can you set that up? Please, please, please <laughs> set it up. This is the POV of my mouth when I'm going to bite a chip. Yeah! <laughs> oh, fuck. No, no, no. Whoa. All right. <laughs> that's cool. Peek the inside of my fucking mouth. Ah! Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> if you want to see that, smash the like button. Let me know what other items you want me to test that lens out on, or even what you think would be super cool to film with it. Because I know I just tested it out going inside of things, but it can do a lot of cool other things too, just because of how close up it can really get. Smash the like button. It's been your boy Wolfie, aka Charles. I love you guys. Stay a little bit more savage on my main channel. And as always, stay savage. Lego. Peace.